So, I heard about this guy who was a monk, I believe. Okay. He was born... Where, where do monks live? In a, in a, in a mo- uh, monastery? monastery? That's not the right word, is it? Yeah. I think... Yeah. Okay. Well, he was born born there. Okay. Raised there. Uh-huh. Never left there his whole life. Okay. Died there. Right. Never saw a woman. Never saw one. His whole life. Okay. He never saw a woman. Right. He lived inside the walls. This is a true story. I swear to God. I, no, I, believe, I believe it. I believe it was it. like he's the only known person, like documented person to have never seen a woman his entire life. Okay. Like that lived like a full life. Right. Now you can get technical. Yeah, I was just about to say he that. Was born, he was born, yeah. and his mom was there. Yeah, but that consciously never has seen has seen a woman. Con- that's a good way to put it. Has consciously never seen a woman. Okay. So, does he have sexual desires? Yes. Does he have sexual desires for men? Mm, Not necessarily. Mm, yeah. Not necessarily. Because he could, and if you do have sexual desires for men, is that? I mean, it is homosexual by definition, but it's not like, it, like he doesn't. He wouldn't know any better. Yeah, would you just be driven towards who, whatever you know? Like, if you only knew men your whole life, like you'd think you would be attracted to a certain type of man. Like, but if you still have that desire, do you know what I'm saying? Yes, but my theory on it is he doesn't necessarily feel sexual desire. He just like knows there's a feeling that he can get um, that he can't explain why. Well, I'm pretty sure he's. They have books in the monastery. Do which, they? Yeah. I, about that? No, about women in general. Like most books will describe women as beautiful, you know, lustful. Yeah, but you can't. Uh, I mean, I mean, maybe curvy. I guess. So he, he he would have the picture. What Bible of, has a curvy? I mean, they would have pictures, I guess. Well, no, they would have like you know classics. You know, I don't think so. They would have. I, uh, I'm assuming. I guess he saw pictures. Cause what kind of monk are we thing. talking about? Like a Catholic or a Christian monk, or like a Buddhist? I, don't know. Monk? I didn't read the whole article, but I I've s- been thinking about Buddhist monk the whole time. That, I think that's what I, that's like what I'm thinking. Okay, I, I didn't know they were I types. Not the, oh. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking Buddhist. So, like, you're in a temple in Nepal on the top of a mountain. 82 years he lived. Uh huh. Without seeing. Um, I feel sorry for him. Why? He never <sighs> laid eyes on a woman. Born yeah. in. Maybe, you know, if you don't know you're missing something, you're true. not going to miss it. Yeah, true. He was in Greece. He's a Greek monk. I don't. Orthodox. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they would have pictures. Uh, strict policy Not against the women to explore the they would monastery. Have statues. Uh, there's no women allowed in the monastery or like near the monastery. Okay, but they would have like. Why would they have a statue of a woman and they don't let women in? Greek mythology statues? I don't know. Th- what they're not that kind of monk. Orthodox. The monks are the opinion that the presence of women alter their path towards cel- celibacy and ultimately spiritual enlightenment. So he wasn't allowed to have any. You're celibate. You're Damn, just, he can't hear. I mean, all monks are celibate, but like, yeah, you're not. That's not even a thought. Right. I think he was content. Yeah, absolutely. To not have the restraints of sex. Yeah. Like the pressures and the the necessity and the drive. It's fucking. That sounds. All the time that I would have. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, we'd all be geniuses. <laughs> That's true. My high school days would have been different. <laughs> Everything. It, that's um, But I mean, humanity would die out. Cause, yeah. There'd be a few rebels. <laughs> you know. Um, he died in 1938. Yeah. Well, even more so then. It's even... Like a, almost a hundred years ago, so it's almost less likely that he yeah. saw even a picture. Absolutely, nineteen thirty-eight. Absolutely, that's wild. I don't know. I was just thinking. I saw that article and I got to thinking about that. Like, how would your brain work? That like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, 
That's I mean, all. I, I guess just, I'm, I'm happy I don't even that really, it's not me. I don't even, are you, though? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean, you don't know what you don't know right. in his situation. Yeah, you don't know what right. you're missing. No, like if he saw one when he was like a teenager. <laughs> yeah, like, and... yeah, somebody accidentally like threw an iPhone over the wall. Yeah. And you're like, well, I mean, it was 1938, so he went. Yeah. Like, you see a carnival or something from your window. Like, you could see everything going Imagine on. Imagine someone like that, like that man, and he's like watching freaking shameless today <laughs> yeah you know he or went, something like that i mean he wouldn't even comprehend <sighs> like just imagine or just you know how desensitized we are yeah compared to then like i think but they're desensitized to stuff too that we would be shocked by that's true yeah that's true it's, it goes both i ways. think our stuff is maybe more vanity stuff or, oh absolutely and then there's this more real world yeah problems yeah you bring someone from the 1800s they like they've seen people die in front of them yeah multiple times yeah like if you get a cough yeah you're dead i cut my leg while i was out in the yard oh <laughs> chop it off it's, it's over gonna yeah. be hopping around for the next 10 years when you live to the ripe age of 27 years old that's a long life yeah I mean, the life expectancy was lower then, but it's also because I think a lot of babies died. Yeah. So it brought the number down. Newborns. That's true. <clears throat> That's true. I was thinking about how I was going to say that, and there's no easy way to say babies died. Infant deaths. There infant, were more infant fatalities. Yeah, infant mortality so, rate. No. The infant mortality rate was higher. That sounds way better. It does sound, it sounds professional. Yeah. And that's what you want. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so we strive for here. Anyway. Welcome to the Extra Medium Show. And welcome back to another episode of the Extra Medium Show. I'm Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even introduce there. yourself. I know. I was just waiting to see what you did. This is Corey. It took you a long time to jump in there. Well, um, I'm Corey. Across the room is Shaman. What are we talking? Musical. No. Yeah. Soundtracks. That's Sound- different. It's different than the score. Yeah. A soundtrack in my... like it, That's yes. different than the score, right? I would yeah. say like so. The jo- like I would Jaws say. music. That's is, a score. Like, yeah. You're right. right. I'd say so. Halloween. It's yeah. like a score. Yeah, it's not a song. It's, it, yeah, it's only talking you know, like yeah. songs that are like played in, played in, outside the movie. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I yeah. agree. I agree. My favorite thing before we even talk about any movies is when a movie has a soundtrack that kind of breaks the fourth wall, where the characters also listening to that song. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No. You don't. Not really. Like, a lot of times, there's, like, just a song playing over a scene. Like, like example, a, example, Guardians of the Galaxy, begin, the be, beginning shot. Yeah, he's listening he to music. the headphones. Yep, he, he's listening to the music. Yeah. And, and they and react can, to yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. I like that a lot. That's actually one where of the my mu- top. Where the move, music is playing in the movie. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I, I don't know if that's breaking the, like. you The, the, the. The character and the viewer are interacting with the same thing. I say that's breaking the fourth wall. I suppose. but And then like a car door will shut and it gets quiet. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. Um, it's just, Like in the intro. I Am Legend, I think, does it. Uh, Pulp Fiction does it. Yeah. Yeah. When they're in the car. That's one of, that's one of the best soundtracks. Really, any Quentin Tarantino movie, um, I think, or heavily backed by their soundtracks i think so well what when you think movie soundtrack what comes to mind dazed and confused for me it's pretty solid fan that every song captures the exact vibe they want to like have in every scene Hmm. like and it has one of the best i don't know I, i bet there's like a word for this too but when it's like a basically like a mic drop moment 
So, for example, have you seen Dazed and Confused? Of course. Have you? Yeah. It's the movie podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the scene when they go into the pool hall and Matthew McConaughey's walking in and they're all shooting pool and Hurricane by Bob Dylan it's just you couldn't p- pick a different song and it just fits perfectly with that kind of thing it almost seems too easy like if there was a it's career it's so good that it's, it seems too obvious yeah but at the time obvi- it wasn't obvious because you know what I mean right. but it like it's it, in a weird way. It's like it's too obvious that right. the those songs are so classic. Yeah, yeah. That's well, that's that's my favorite. I'd say. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't. I think favorite's different than what I asked you. Okay, what did you but, ask me? <laughs> top one? No, what comes to mind? Uh, you that think? one. Okay. That one still. Shame. Mine will, probably would have been uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's on a lot of lists. Yeah. When I was looking, doing my vil- diligent research that I do, I. Uh, a lot of these movies, you can buy the soundtracks, and they're really good playlist. Like if you buy bu- themselves, yeah. right? Like I know they have a vinyl of Guardians of the Galaxy. You can get it. Like for time. me, it's not necessarily a good. I mean, it is good, but it's uh, Space Jam. Yeah, yeah. They have like. I mean, yeah. Why do you yeah. say it like that? I don't really like a lot of the songs, but I understand they're big songs. Got a basketball, Jones. Yeah. It's a great song. <laughs> I like space. I I think are you going to count a movie like 8 Mile? Yeah. Yeah, see I was going to ask that like since yeah. it's it about the musician itself. Yeah, and, of course. But it has <clears throat> songs not by Yeah. Not just by Eminem. Like there's songs Are they made songs? for that They're movie. just raps. Like There's songs. There's Throughout like now you're the getting movie. a whole different topic. Throughout rap, the movie, songs. there's songs. Well, that, no, what? Like, rap is what do you dun, 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 like? They're like dun, dun, battle dun, dun, rapping. Okay, is yeah, that a song? That's not on the soundtrack. If you were to buy the Eight Mile soundtrack, the battles aren't. They might be on there as like bonus. But that, now, are you talking about the score? No, I'm talking about the soundtrack. There's songs. Yeah, like the song Eight Mile. Yeah. Or the uh, Rabbit Run. Or yeah. okay. thank you, Shaman. God, okay. see, pulling out the crates, Shaman. That's okay. what I'm talking about. Get hip, Alex. All right. He don't even know those songs. That's why he's asking. <laughs> I didn't know I was around so many fucking Eminem aficionados. Uh, yeah, of course. All right. Now, here's one that most people might not think about. Uh, oh, Brother, Where Out Thou. I love that soundtrack. That's I love good. those songs. I still listen to those. I like those. Oh, oh unprofessional. Super unprofessional. Maybe. American Pie. <laughs> I don't know that soundtrack. Yeah. It's all, it's like, um, like Blink 182 Mm -hmm. and, um, shit. It's, it's, it's all songs that like, you know, when you hear, but you don't know necessarily who sings it. (laughs) Yeah. Like it's all songs like that, but it's all, they're all good. Like nineties, very like, like, uh, my own worst enemy, that kind of shit. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lit. Yep. Yeah. Dang. I know what I'm doing. Jeez. But Another movie like that that has music like American that. American Idiot is in it. I like that. <clears throat> yeah. It's that kind um, of movie. I'm sorry. Titan AE has that kind of. Really? It's that animated movie. It has songs. I think it has a lit song in it. Um, What about The Breakfast Club? Yeah. You know, I mean that's mo- uh, largely in part to the, just one song, but don't you yeah forget about me. But then it's there's gonna be a lot of me singing in this episode. So. That was good though, was it? Yeah, I mean I might put some effects on it. I'd, that'd be cool. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad if you did it. We're missing out one, even though there's tragic events with it. Grease, I think has a very good soundtrack. Yeah, it should be on there. R.I.P. Olivia Newton-John. I dropped a bomb at work. Uh, I told everybody around me. I got a text. And I work with a lot of women. And uh, I didn't realize uh, the impact that (laughs) Olivia Newton-John had on society. And I kind of said it more casual, I guess, than I (laughs) should have. And they were like, basically, I'm a monster now because of the way I said it. But I was, I I don't know. But yeah, (laughs) soundtrack-wise, it, uh... (laughs) That's good. My dad said it was his first crush. 
Olivia Newton-John. Yeah. I think she had breast cancer a while she did. ago. Or, she did. And I don't know if it came back or not, but... Yeah, they didn't say why. Yeah. Want to bring down the show, Alex? All right, I'm sorry. So sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Raise it back <laughs> Got up, Got to report baby. the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Top um, Gun? It's like you're reading my mind. <laughs> We're on the same wave. We're and on you the know, same list. The, what song, <laughs> com- what song <laughs> comes to mind? You got Danger Zone... But you also have Take My Breath Away. Isn't that the song that's playing when they do the Ice Cube thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Take my breath away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, How fast could you melt it? Who ice sings cube? Highway to the Danger Zone? Kenny Without Loggins. Yeah. Right. Is it Loggins and Messina or just Loggins? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that funny? Loggins and Messina. What's that? What is that from? You know. <laughs> he gets to the car. He says, "Put on some, put on some Kenny Loggins." And he's like, "Coming up, Loggins and Messina." He's like, "Did I say Messina?" And takes off in the car. Stanley right. Hudson. Yeah, Florida yeah. Stanley. Yeah, Flo- Florida Stanley's off the chain. <laughs> you got Boogie Nights. Um, I don't know it as well. You ha- we've missed one Shrek. Shrek, Shrek is all a fantastic time. one. All the of them. The Smash Mouth, all I think. Them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, such the a one, what is it, Shrek 2 with uh, the fairy godmother when she sings yep. I Need a Hero? Yep. Woo! That is a banger. Yep. Man. Does Ghostbusters count? Uh-huh. I think so. Yeah. I mean, they made their own music I mean, for the obviously, movie. they have a soundtrack. Yeah. Are you just counting that song? That's the only one I, ca- I can think of. Yeah. In the neighborhood. How old were you? Who are you gonna call? Out? Like fourteen. I I honestly wasn't like a Ghostbusters fan, and no, I wasn't fucking fourteen. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was trying to curse less. But uh, I'll tell you one that I actually downloaded um, the whole album and listened to. It's uh, Donnie Darko. Of course. Yeah. Is it what's on it? A whole bunch of like eighties like Tears for Fears in excess. Um uh Pet Shop Boys, that kind of stuff. And then you got Gary Jules singing Ma- Mad World. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great vibes. But um, you gotta like that kind of music. Wayne's World? It's another one that's kinda like on the edge. Yeah, they, did, like, they have Bohemian Rhapsody in there. Yeah, but like, what well, would that be on the soundtrack? Probably. I don't know. I don't know what Queen's view on right. rights are. Hmm. Um. One of the the biggest ones is Forrest Gump. Yeah. Like that's fantastic. I like that a lot. Any war, any Vietnam War movie. Yeah, they're always going to play like that. Has in it. Yep. Yeah. And then <laughs> we Were Soldiers has a surprisingly good, yeah, kind of pretty good soundtrack. Hmm. Um, Dirty Dancing. Yeah. I like Dirty. I like the songs from Dirty Dancing. <laughs> I like Dirty Dancing. It's not a bad movie. It ain't. Mm. I've seen it more than my fair share, so. I just don't like it because everybody likes it so much. Oh, okay. Are you one of them? I'm one of those people. I don't. Okay. What about Black Panther? I've never seen it. Soundtrack is top notch. Have you seen it? Inexcusable. Shut the fuck up. You've never seen it. <laughs> you can't prove that. Answer the question. Of course I've seen it. Shut the fuck up. I have. He's so wrong. Yeah. Well. well but the, the soundtrack's top notch. You have like Kendrick Lamar, The Weeknd, all of them. So. I like The Weeknd a lot. Do I do. Sing one song. Uh, <laughs> Just one line from one song. What you mean? I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Damn. See, I took your line right there. You're a showman today. I'm <clears throat> feeling it. Damn. Um, if you had one karaoke song, like if someone was like, mm. put you on the spot, what song are you singing? Is it just me or is it a duet? I'll I'll both. give you both. Yeah. Duet, it's Picture by Kid Rock and Sheryl Crow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, give me one line. <laughs> <laughs> Please just sing. Stop one that line. crazy. I gotta think. I can't because the only words I know are the Cheryl Crow version. And literally, I'm not you could just book. say, "I put your picture away," but sing it. I put your picture away. <laughs> you sang it like Sir- Cheryl Crow. You I sang. You sang the Cheryl. I Crow. told you, bro. That's what I do. But they both sing that. I don't word. care. I don't care. I'm the Cheryl Crow so, one. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I accept that. I don't. I I accept it. Dang. So I need a deeper voice. You're like uh, person. you're like Jam, Jeremy Jam. I don't know who that is. From Parks and Rec. They do the uh, the Grease duet, but he only, he does Sandy's part. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have more range up <laughs> top, man. Single song. Um, can we come back <laughs> and someone else? really sang it. Yeah, like, I told you. As, I told you. As Cheryl Crow. That's just wild. Yeah, think about it and we'll come back to it. Uh, do you guys <clears throat> have answers? Nope. What the fuck? Um, Fly Me to the Moon. By Frank Sinatra. Can you get that low? <laughs> Maybe. You don't have to. It's a I pretty. It's a pretty talky he's song. A, he's a what's it, a croner? Is that what that's called? I don't know. Fly me to see. Nah, that that wasn't deep enough, right there. Yeah. See. All right. Let's get back on soundtrack. No one wants to hear us fucking sing. <laughs> um. I have get rich or die trying. That's a good one. Yeah. I like 50 yeah, Cent. I know you're not into rap music. Oh, shut the fuck up. Um, Sagging pants and stuff. What? <laughs> I heard him bitching the other day about people. Pull up your pants. That's absolutely not what I said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I completely made that up. Pull them down. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, that's Sora. good. One. Nothing comes to mind. Well, they're all, they, well, there's like each person has a song, so they're all good. Uh, any uh, like Tenacious D movies? I like Tenacious D. School right. of Rock. Yeah, that's a good soundtrack. It has some Zeppelin on it. The I, Lost Boys. The Lost Boys. Yeah. I feel like a lot of like the uh, late '80s had great soundtracks. Or did the late '80s just have great songs? True. Let's see. Um. Fast times at Ridgemont. Fast Mahal. times. Absolutely. The cars that Tom one scene, Teddy, you know. Zeppelin, Go Go's. Almost yeah. Famous is another one that has a lot of like good rock music. Um, Risky Business. Yeah. It's like a famous one. Goodfellas and Casino, mm-hmm. but mostly Goodfellas. Goodfellas better. Oh. Like that scene that song when they go on the first date. And he's walking. They're walking through the back of the restaurant, and then he kissed me. Is playing. It's just fantastic, brilliantly shot. <laughs> uh, Boys in the Hood. That's yeah. cool too. All those movies like b- by rappers that have their own music in the, the movie. All the Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Ice Cube's mu- music in it. The Lion King. Yeah. And what's Tarzan. Your, what's your feeling about um, The Lion King? I don't love it. It's not what? my favorite Disney movie. Why? I don't know. It's such a beautiful story. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I don't hate it. I just it's not my favorite. What is? Um I mean this is totally off topic, but you brought it up. Dissing on the Lion King for no reason. You're right. Um not including Pixar. Well, yeah, not including Pixar. Well, well, yeah, like Disney classics. Okay. Um, I really like Sleeping Beauty. You like Sleeping Beauty more than The Lion King. I do. I enjoy the movie more. You don't like animals though. I don't. I don't dislike animals. Yeah, that's weird. What about you, Shane? Classic Disney movies. Gotta go, Hercules. I do. Ah, uh, I forgot about Hercules. Hercules is solid. The soundtrack yeah. to Hercules itself is fucking. You're right. Dope. Yeah. But Hercules then, might be mine. But yeah. the Lion King's up. Now nah, we're just doing Disney movies. I like Tarzan a lot. Mm. Probably uh, Treasure Planet. Oh. Mulan. Mulan. Mm. That uh, gotta make a uh, what is that? Make a man out of you or something like that? Yeah. Bra gets me. Pumped. Yeah, of course. Bah. 
Let's get down. Is that that yeah, song? Yeah. That was good. That was... That's, a, that's a soundtrack, too. That should yeah. be up there in the conversation. Yeah. yeah. All of those. All of those. I, you... I feel like at every Disney movie has at least one banger. Yeah. Did you watch the live action Mulan? No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, I it was not good. It was all right. I. <laughs> they, they Mulan was funny because of Mushu, and they got rid of that, so... That's a hard thing to do in a live action. Yeah, movie. exactly. Yeah. Purple Rain. He was one of Corey's Prince. favorite juice. Yeah. You still have dude, that was like episode one. I told you to watch I understand. Juice. This is like episode sixty eight or something. I don't even know what episode it's something like that. I understand. It's uh My anger. It's Can you 71. see that anger in my eyes right now? It's episode seventy one. Seventy one. Yeah. It's even that's even more depressing. Let's watch Juice, man. We'll see. We'll see. I'm have gonna a, like have a movie night at your house. We can just watch. We're it. gonna watch Juice at movie night. <laughs> can we drink juice? It's not that kind of juice. Oh shit! My bad. Damn. Uh, Batman. Which one? The one with Prince on the soundtrack that he made. Is that? Uh, <laughs> Batman Forever, I think. Bat Dance. No, I guess it's Batman. The 1989 so Batman. So that's a George Clooney one. Uh, no, I think that's Michael Keaton. I think it is Michael Keaton. Yeah. It's uh, the Keaton. Jack Nicholson Joker. Okay. That one. Okay. Yeah, the Bat Dance. Can you do that? No. They tell you how to do it in the song, I believe. So. Do you do those at weddings? I yes. don't like those. Yes. What's your favorite? The uh, wobble? No. Wobble baby, wobble baby. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's that one? Uh, it's like a rip off of the electric slide. Uh, Cha-cha. Cupid shuffle. Cupid, Cupid shuffle. shuffle. Cupid mm-hmm. shuffle's better than. Uh, yeah, the I think so. To the left. I get so tired because I go so hard. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what can I say? Hey, I respect it, man. If he drinks in me, I cut loose. Hell yeah. Uh, Big Lebowski. Foot loose? Yeah. Now in the 80s. I've never seen Foot Loose. What? Kevin Bacon? There's no dancing in this town. Which I don't see how that would be, like, enforceable. It's not, yeah, it's something stupid like that. Like, I need to dance, Dad. I don't know. It's, not, it's something like that. I've only seen it like one time. What's your go-to dance move? Back and forth. Yeah, just a little step. Just like a little two Sway. Step. Just like a little... Mm. Just a little back and forth. Mm. What do you do? I mean, I do have a signature dance move. <laughs> but, uh... I do the little sway thing. I have you sway? zero r- rhythm. Really? Yeah. I mean... I you just gotta catch it. You just gotta catch it. Once you catch I wanna it, I want to see Corey dance. Well, maybe in Mexico. Yeah. Why? Why would I ever need to dance? South of the border. There's no reason for you to have ever seen me dance. You seen me dance? You went to my wedding. Oh yeah, I wasn't drunk enough. I was. <laughs> I know. Shame I was loaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When it's open bar, it's open bar. No, I hear you. Represent. I'm not mad at people who dance, get drunk and dance. I'm just saying I, for one, was not drunk enough to dance. Hmm. All right. <laughs> and it was one of those things, too, like um, when people tell me to dance. Yeah. Like, go dance. I'm like, I was thinking about it, but now like that I know. Now I won't. <laughs> do you want me and you're watching me? Like, I'm not going to go dance. Like, if you're going to watch me. And yeah, because you're going to look over when you start dancing. They're going to like... Have yeah. their thumbs up. Or like, like take yeah. a video or some shit. That's all I need. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Yeah. It's got to be natural. Yeah, absolutely. You got to feel it. Damn. Do you think of your uh, karaoke sh- song yet, Shaman? Nope. Man. He just doesn't want to sing. I think mine could be I Was Made for Loving You by Kiss. Well, tell me how that one goes. <laughs> It's basically that, but sung. Yeah. Right. You know? I tried. 
Uh, back, no, to, back to soundtracks. Belly. Have you ever seen Belly? It's just like a lot nope. of Jay Z, DMX. It's uh-huh. a hip hop movie. Um, what about the Wedding Singer? Sure, I'll allow it. Survey says. Um, dude, there's so many Guardians of the Galaxy. What about Guardians. Saturday Night Fever? Yeah. With uh, is that the one? With, that's the one with John Travolta, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I like disco. You'd have been into disco. Yeah, bro. I could see Alex yeah. with bell bottoms, and I already know I would have. I don't know if you would have been though. I don't, I mean I like I like like Zeppelin kind of stuff a lot too, which is around the same time I'd say. Yeah, but at the time it wasn't cool. Yeah, like my dad was into both. Yeah. I might have been a closeted disco fan. That's probably what would have happened. Absolutely. He'd go to the like the skating rink and just bust his shit out. Yeah. Isn't there like a that seventies show uh episode of, yep, like, of that exactly where like Eric is like undercover disco roller skating <laughs> and yep, that's know Alex. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I could have did that. <laughs> have you ever roller skated? Oh yeah. you should have seen this man at the uh roller rink, bro. Bad? I no. did I <laughs> Nah, bro. I, d- I didn't roller skate at the roller rink. Um, that was loud. Yeah, it was. Jesus. Um, I didn't. I just. I hung out with people. That's. This is a great story. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was doing something when I was saying that. That was my bad. Um. No, I didn't roller skate. I'm. I don't. I don't like to be on wheels. <laughs> Or skates, period. Yeah, or ice skates or anything. I like to be on the ground. Interesting. That's how I feel about boats. Um, Dude, Shaman, we were uh, we were playing a, a, a video game. Well, for everyone. We were playing a video game, Corey and I, and in the game, you're pirates, and our ship sunk, and Corey sea was... Sea of Thieves is the game. Yeah, Corey was stuck in a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean and I couldn't find him. And he was like, this is my biggest fear. I wasn't crying. <laughs> it was concerning. I though. literally just said, this is like my biggest fear to be out here. In the and I was like, just jump in the water. And I jump in the water and the waves are over your head. It was terrifying. If that was like, that would be the worst thing for me. I would much rather be lost in a desert than to be lost at sea. Really? Yeah. I feel like, mm, yeah, almost the same thing because you it's not the same di- thing. Die you dehydration. Walk. You can walk on land. You can't. You can't swim in the ocean. Do you have any more soundtracks? Uh Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Is up there. Ferris Bueller. I like that one. Uh, what about? Tell uh, me, you've seen Ferris Bueller's Day? I off. have absolutely seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, vacation. You guys always bring up these movies. I mean, yeah, bangers. Yeah. Holiday Road. Oh. I listen to it on Christmas Day when I drive down to my parents' house. That's the guitarist from Fleetwood Mac. Really? Lindsey Buckingham. Interesting. Yeah, that's a cool name. Yeah, he had an uh, he him and Stevie Nicks. I'm pretty sure were a thing, and then their relationship went sour, and that's when I, the band uh, split up. I think. Not sure. Um, above the rim featured a lot like a lot of Tupac. It's pretty good. White men can't jump. I'll and, tell you. And I had to regulate um, on it. Sister Act Two back in the habit. <laughs> one of that my is a good one. top ten movies. Men in Black. Men in Black. Yeah. Shaft. Shaft. Wild Wild West. See that yeah, I was gonna mention that. Do you have the Mandela effect of um Sinbad being a genie. I know what you're talking about. Um, yes you? and no. Like I do kind of remember it, but at the same time, I'm I've realized I see, I that never... I could just be misremembering. Yeah, I feel I... like I've watched it before. I I have a genuine memory of me watching that movie. I've Sinbad as a genie. Yeah, I never Shaq. saw it. I, I I know, but up until it became a thing, so. I don't think it was. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. I don't think it was the Shaq movie. Shaman didn't go through that wormhole with us. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I don't know. 
Well, I, got I would behind. I would be. I would be remiss if we didn't mention the bodyguard. Yeah, you've never seen the bodyguard. I have. That's no, you uh, Whitney Houston. Yeah, and uh, I have not. Kevin Costner, right? Or no? Uh, who's the guy? Kevin Costner. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Damn. But you've never seen the movie. Uh, I did. <laughs> I have. I've seen it when you've seen Black Panther. Uh, I still can't believe you guys know. haven't seen Black Panther. I don't watch superhero movies. You the fuck have not. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. I know it. Wakanda. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're pissing him <laughs> off. Wakanda forever. Right? Yeah, do the thingy. I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's cultural appropriation. <laughs> And I'm not into that. <laughs> you ever seen The Graduate? Yeah. That's a stellar soundtrack. Astute a observation, <clears throat> good sir. Thank you. Apt analysis. <laughs> American Graffiti, Do the Right Thing. 2001. A Space Odyssey. Is that the score or the soundtrack? That's a good argument. I Same with Interstellar. I was just about to say Interstellar, but that's the score. Interstellar does a great job of no sound. Mm. And that can be very effective. Almost as loud as Ooh. sound. Let's, 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 that's, that's powerful. <laughs> that's powerful stuff. <laughs> well, I know we are leaving out movies. Yeah. Which we do every week. Absolutely. And please let us know. And let Shaman know specifically. Yeah. He's the one where he screwed up. Told us what to say. Yeah. Because he didn't sing for us. Yep. Or tell us his karaoke song. Yeah, I don't sing. It would have to be a country song. I know what song it is. <laughs> what? Shania Twain. I feel like a woman. Wow. Bruh. <laughs> that song comes yeah. on. I gotta sing. Let's just hear one line. No. <laughs> Say the let's go boys. <laughs> let's go girls. <laughs> well, let's go girls. No. Not happening. Why? <laughs> it's just acting. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go girls. Dun, 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 yeah, that gets dun. me going. Um. All right. What did you watch? Um. Have I mentioned that I started watching Family Matters? I don't know. From the beginning. I, see, this is where we run into problems. You mention stuff to me, not on the episode, and then I can't remember if you've said it on the episode. That's fair. So I'll mention two. So okay. I'll talk about Family Matters again, then we'll mention something else. Okay. Um, Steve Urkel doesn't come into the episodes like five, episode five. You're watching, there's not a remake of it. Like No, no, no. The, no. Old, the original version. Okay. Um, And it's very overacted. But I'm like, I'm a little further in now, and it's getting a little better. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting. Have you ever watched Step by Step? Yes. That's the one with... Uh, step by uh, Step. Yeah, uh, the yeah. dad and the mom. and Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's most shows, yeah. Um, Steve that, Urkel is also in that show. As I think I knew that. Steve Urkel. I think I knew it's that. It's the same character. Is, which one? Is, never mind. I, I remember, Family Matters I, came I, first. I know this has been said on the episode because I can't remember which one has the person who lives in the van in the driveway. That's step by step. Okay. Yeah, he works with the dad with the at his uh, construction company okay. or something like that. Okay. And he gives life lessons. So they probably were on the same network. Yeah. I believe that, yeah. I want to say ABC fan. I have but. Well, that's all. Um, it's kind of weird to watch it from the beginning. Yeah. I thought it was weird Carl Winslow wasn't in a police uniform for like four episodes. Really? Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's what okay. city are they in? Chicago. Chicago. Okay. And I also started watching um, Nailed It. Nailed It. Ah, uh, that's the uh, the food one. Yeah. That's so good. I was talking to my wife and I was like, you know, let's watch like a like a competition show or yeah. something so i started scrolling through the old netflix and i came across and i was the host is so annoying yeah 
Oh my god, yeah. she's so annoying. And she's in I look and she's in season six and she's in the holiday edition, so you're not you're not getting rid of her. The show's cool though. Do you know you don't know what it is? No. So they bring in like like food artists basically like chefs that make like cakes it's all baking and uh it'll be like they have a shrek cake and this artist made it and it's sweet you know what i mean and so then they bring in people like regular people who cook and they try and recreate the thing and it's horrible yeah yeah well it's just a short quick watch and it's a there's another show. It's based off YouTube, something on YouTube. Um, on Netflix, I think, and it's along those lines. They have to make food look like inanimate objects. Oh, I've seen that. Is, that. is comp- it cake? Yeah. Yeah, so That's like, what it's called? Oh, I don't know. Because oh. um, that's a show, right? Is it cake? Is it cake? That is might, it cake, yeah. I think that might be it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a shoe or like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Um, I, since we haven't done a, what did you watch in a few weeks? I have like five and I could save them, but I'm excited to talk about them. All right. Go for it. So, uh, most recent movie I just watched was Constantine. Good movie. Keanu Reeves. You know, he wants to do a, a second one of that. They, as an they older left version. it o- open. Yeah. He said, he, he went on record and said, if they came back and wanted me to do a older version of Constantine, I would do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. Bro, I would. I think that'd be such a great movie, especially with the effects they could do now. now for sure, yep. yeah. Um, what else did I watch? I watched a movie called Coherence. All right, and I'm gonna butcher what this movie's about, but basically, there's a, a group of friends, like thirty something f- year olds. There's like eight of them. They're at a house for a dinner party. There's a comet going overhead. And the one chick's like, you know, funky stuff happens when comets happen. All of a sudden, all the lights go out in the neighborhood except for their house. But they see another house with lights on. And they go and explore it. And I'm not going to give the rest of it away because it has some crazy twists in it. It's on Amazon. Why would, why would you go and check shit out? I'm not- my ass be sitting in my house. Yeah, well, we got power. Why are we leaving? Well, exactly. You and you find out that they should have stayed. But um, there was a movie I watched on vacation called The Ritual. That was a good movie. It's in the it's in Sweden in the forest. This group of hikers they're trying to honor their friend. They left a, a monument for him, and they're trying to get back because one of them got hurt, and it ends up being a Norse forest god attacking them and they run into a cult and it's pretty kind of it's a scary movie yeah i was surprised it almost pisses was... me off that you're watching that and you won't watch that's no you're coming over and we're watching saw I see do i don't like saw it doesn't matter because you... i don't like slasher films it's not necessarily slasher bro people <laughs> fucking getting cut up and shit. yeah but like, but how is it not a slasher film yeah, it's a psychological. Like this one is more of a you know suspenseful. Yeah, but you no, know? just for the fact of the show. I mean, you should I'll come watch over. It. You should come over for a weekend, and we'll watch like five or six horror movies. I can do that. Okay, like two days, like Friday, Saturday, or something. Hmm. I also watched The Gray Man. Okay. On Netflix, is that the one with uh, Ryan Gosling and uh, um, Chris Evans? Chris Evans. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a pretty good movie, but it's literally if you take the plot of if you put a make an AI generator and make a make a action movie plot, huh. that's it. Yeah, like it doesn't really have. I think much that's what they're gonna start. Kind of how depth. That's kind of how I felt about Uncharted. I started watching that. I haven't finished that. It's kind of the same thing. It's yeah, the, it's based on a video game. Yeah, the one with uh, Mark Wahlberg and Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Um, yeah, it's a I good movie. Seen that yet. But, but it's it just, just doesn't like, have meat to it. It's just Look, like it shows you what you want to see. Yeah, action. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Shaman? So mine was going to be the ritual, but Sorry. you took that. Um, but I had another one. Um, I started rewatching uh, Criminal Minds because hey. they're coming back. They're, they're renewing it finally because um, it went on hiatus for a while. Um, so I've heard. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've gotten all the way up to Start like season. With- Five so starts far. with Gideon. Yep, Gideon, and then, then uh, Rossi replaces him. Yep, and then they bring on uh, 
Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer. Then uh, the one lady. And they get rid of pretty much. What's every- the blonde girl's name? JJ. Yeah. 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 Then she she left right. I don't know. Yeah, she left later. Reads the coolest by far. Yeah. Yeah. That's a solid show. Though. It is a good show. That's I like, like the, the best. I like how each show is its own show, but it ties in as a show. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Whereas, know. like, you know, SVU, every show is a show. Yeah. Like, it's its own thing. And that's it. And whereas well, Criminal Minds, it plays out, like, yeah. a, throughout a season. Yeah. So. You kind of need to watch them in order. Yep. Which is good and bad. Yeah. You do and you don't, though. Because there's a new case every episode. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I mean. Like, you can watch the show and understand the case itself, but yeah. in the big scheme, you yeah. don't know what else is going on. That's an apt analysis, Shaman. Astute. Thank you. It's a good show. So, what do you got laying there? A bottle of whiskey or something? What is that? This bottle Vodka. right here. Yeah. Tito's. Tito's. I can't. Not, I, can, I can only see the top of. We're not sponsored by Tito's yet. Huh. Sipping back a little afternoon. Uh, a little afternoon, little afternoon cocktail. Yeah. Hey, vodka cranberry. It's I your go-to. Like that is my go-to. Is that beverage. what you? Is that what you use that for? Mostly. People are gonna be furious. Why? A Tito's. Cranberry? Yeah. Hey. I don't I don't short change. Hmm. Yeah, like vodka vodka soda. That just sounds unhappy. Yeah. Even for me that's sounds unhappy. Like mm-hmm. a guy who's sad and comes home and it loosens his tie. Yeah. Has a vodka soda and like his shitty T V with the bunny ears. A long day at the advertising office. Kicks his shoes off and his sock has a hole. One recliner and Yeah. His big toe sticking out of his sock. Yeah. He has a TV dinner. Damn, that's <laughs> what I pretty much do. Damn. Damn. The sock and everything? Yeah. I can't do Dude, that. No way. As soon as my sock shows some distress. Nope. Dude, I'll be having one sock on for the whole fucking day. What? If I'm at home. Like just what? one sock? Yeah, just one sock. Why? Not two? Nah. Uh, one gets loose and it comes off and just right, that one oh my god he's a fucking psychopath that is how insane. can he be okay you with that you should be investigated for crimes against humanity immediately <laughs> holy shit what I, it's the perfect balance of hot and cold no, bro that's psychotic behavior man you're wild do you do you sleep with your feet outside the blanket yeah oh but one thing is, I cannot have the blanket not on my like back. I have to have something covering my back. Don't know why. I don't know. You have deep issues, my friend. I don't know how to proceed from that. <laughs> <laughs> These are deep-rooted pro- problems that I am not qualified to dive into. So if anybody out there is a psychiatrist or a medical professional of any kind, really, we'll take the advice of anybody. Yeah. Tell us what's wrong with our dear friend. <laughs> on that note <laughs> uh yeah we're out stay safe